This has become a common sight in Mashungo Eben's residential areas. It has been weeks of acute water shortages, which has seen people spending most of their time queuing for water at bowls and community taps. Women are the most affected as they are the primary caregivers at home. Youths and children are also not spared by the crisis, which also exposes them to COVID-19 due to lack of PPE and social distancing. Some have resorted to fetching water from open pools left by the recent rains, which is not even safe for consumption. There have been reports of people using purifying pills in the water fetch from unprotected sources like this to make it safe for drinking, exposing themselves to waterborne diseases like cholera and typhoid. Women and girls are sometimes victimized at bowls and community taps, but they have to fight for the precious liquid. Tips in some areas are too few and to control the queues, tape minders have to close them for some time, further rationing the water to residents. <laughs> In the CBD, public toilets are not being cleaned, making it difficult for informal traders who make up the larger percentage of those who use these toilets. They end up using alleys to defecate instead of these toilets, which do not have running water. They say they pay their bills in full and on time, but they are not getting the service they are supposed to. Mashungo City Council blames power shortages at Bushmead Waterworks due to a faulty electric transformer and they are waiting for Zesa to act. Until the power utility and the local authority work on the crisis, Mashingo will continuously be sitting on a health-ticking time bomb 
which may explode if a third wave of COVID-19 is to hit Zimbabwe. Thank you.